Hi guys, I'm Megan Brightwood and welcome to my channel. Or if you're a returning viewer, then hi, nice to see you again. I'm so glad that you're back. And if you haven't already, certainly take a moment to hit that subscribe button and notification bell down below so that you know whenever I post a new video. I do post on Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, so there's been a lot of content going out. And if you don't wanna miss anything, then subscribing is going to be your best bet. Uh, but today, I'm going to be sharing with you my mid-May knitting update. So I do these knitting updates about every two weeks. I do one in the middle of the month and one at the end. And so my last knitting update, if you saw that, I wasn't super pleased with the amount of progress that I had made as far as my knitting goes. I thought I would be a lot further than I was in that video. But uh, this last couple weeks, I have definitely made up for it. So let's hop right into this with a little sweater that I made recently, and it is up on my channel as a how to knit video, and I do have the written pattern that I can link below but I absolutely love this. So it is a little cardigan. It's worked in garter stitch made out of a Cascade Hampton yarn. So it's a cotton and linen blend. This is in the colorway silver and it's very basic, but my favorite part of this little cardigan is that it has a hood with teddy bear ears. I love how this turned out so, so much. I have uh, pictures of my son wearing it on Instagram, and like I said, I do have the um, a how to knit video and pattern that I'll link below so you can see more pictures, but it turned out so cute. I absolutely love it. Uh, so the hood was probably my favorite thing to do because it's a really cool looking hood. So it is worked in a rectangle up on top, and then you kind of work back and forth on the sides here until you get down in this area. And I wanted to give it a lot more shaping than I've seen other hoods. And so I did these little decreases here so that when it's on the side, um, it's actually got a little bit more of a rounded shape. So yeah, I really like how that turned out. The whole cardigan is so cute. It looks very woodsy. And I think it would be a really good um, unisex pattern as well. So boys, girls, I don't think it matters who would wear it. It's just really cute. So <laughs> that is my first little finished object. And then I do have another finished sweater for my daughter, Evelyn. And I don't think that I shared this physically in the last knitting update. I think I was about halfway through but it is complete <laughs> and it is the Blueberry Blouse by Pernille Larson. Now, this is a pattern that I have talked about so much on my channel. It's one of my favorites to knit for Evelyn because I feel like it captures her personality really, really well. She is definitely a free spirit. She kind of just does what she wants. And honestly, I would love to be more like my daughter. She is so social and personable and just She's fun to be around, I love that. Um, so yeah, I really feel like this really captures her personality. It's very feminine and girly, it twirls, but it's also got kind of a laid back, casual feel to it that I think is really fun. So um, yeah, this is uh, made out of a Cascade Heritage yarn in the colorway white, I believe. It is the most innocent little uh, sweater that I have made for her. Um, the other times that I've made this up, it's been out of like a purple or a camel color. I've made it out of like a bright pink. So she's had a few of these, but this is just so, so pretty. And I love the details on this. So it's got little bobbles here that are um, kind of representative of blueberries. And then it's got this really cool cabling that goes all the way down the sleeve. So you start in the middle with a provisional cast on and then you knit to um, kind of right in here, right where the neckline is. And then you cast on the back portion and then you kind of go back and it's, it's kind of a confusing pattern, but it really, really works up really nicely. So yeah, absolutely love this, highly recommend. It's a little bit confusing, like I said, but so worth it once you figure it out. And then um, on the back, I do have some little tortoiseshell buttons. These are probably my favorite 
buttons to use on different things. I uh, just put two here and then it did a little crochet hook um, buttonhole. So yeah, just a little loop. But anyway, yeah, so that is Evie's little blueberry blouse. And I think that that's all the finished objects that I have to share with you today. But I do have a couple of works in progress that I've made a lot of progress on. The first work in progress that I wanted to share with you is not one that I've shared on this channel yet, I don't think, but I did show a picture of it on Instagram. So if you're interested in checking that out, I can link that below. But this is the uh, Bohemian Ruffle Top by Pernell Larson. And I love Pernell Larson's patterns, but they are pretty confusing so um they are not for the faint of heart i do really like them though and i think they're really fun for evie so this is out of a cascade heritage yarn in the colorway golden yellow i believe and this is just the skirt of the little uh top it's got a pico edging here with a knitted cast on and then you work up and then i think if i remember correctly it's been a while since i've done this one but i think that I work on just some stitches for the front portion and then I go to the back and then I think I do the ruffle edge and then pick up stitches for the underarm area. It's very confusing, but it turned out so well the last time that I did it and I thought it'd be really fun to do it out of more of a bright color and I thought the yellow would be really fun. Um, I did actually order some of this yarn for a sweater for myself as well, and I'm hoping it's not going to wash me out. It might, but um, yeah, I, I hope it'll look okay. So anyway, yeah, that is the Bohemian Ruffle Top. It is going to be a fun one. It's, like I said, complicated, but sometimes I just get it in my head that I want to do something a little trickier and uh, yeah this definitely fits the bill so yep that's the bohemian ruffle top and then I have made progress on the sweaters that I'm working on for myself and for my husband Joe so mine is the balloon cardigan by Petite Knit. It is made out of a Malabrigo sock yarn in the colorway Sandbank and this is what it looks like. So I have one sleeve that is completely finished here and you can see it's got that balloon shape to it and then I'm probably a little bit over halfway on the opposite sleeve. So it should be done in the next update. I do have buttons ready to go for the front. And I'm hoping that um, this will block a little bit longer. It is a cropped cardigan, but as I was trying it on, I don't know that it's quite as billowy as I was hoping. So uh, yeah, it should be okay. The sweater that I'm wearing right now is out of the same kind of yarn in the colorway Pearl. And I know that this one has a tendency when I um, hand wash it to get very large. So yeah, hopefully it'll be the same kind of thing with that and I can kind of work with it a little bit more. Um, the picture on Ravelry, it has a very loose kind of shape um, around the middle and I thought that was pretty. So hopefully I can achieve the same look, but yeah, it's kind of hard to show right now without actually wearing it. But yeah, it's coming along very, very nicely and it's been a very quick pattern as well. So yeah, love that. So I have one more work in progress that I wanted to share with you guys. And if you've been watching these knitting updates for a while, you know that it is the Spenson Pullover by Jared Flood. And it has been a tough one for me. There have been a couple of these knitting updates where I haven't made any progress and I'm hoping to get it done by June. My husband's birthday is in kind of the beginning of June. So I would like to make this kind of a surprise birthday present, but we will see if I get it done. It's, it's been rough. Uh, but I did finally finish the back of the uh, sweater. So this is what it looks like. This is intense. Um, it's made out of a Malabrigo um, Rios yarn in the colorway blue jean. So it's a really pretty deep blue color and I love it. And it's got some American moss stitch on the sides here, uh, some uh, herringbone cabling, some horseshoe cabling, uh, more of the herringbone, and then it's got this honeycomb detail. It has so much cabling 
going on. I love it. It's just kind of complicated. So yeah, love it. It's just taken a while. So yeah, um, the Jared Flood's patterns or just the Brooklyn Tweed ones in general are all so technical. It's a really good way to kind of amp up your knitting skills if you are into that. So yeah, it's been a fun one but very complicated and it's taken me a lot longer than I thought it would. So um, yeah, this is the back portion. It's completely ready to go. And then um, I do also have just a few inches of the front portion. So this pretty much looks like the back at this point. It won't look any different until I get to the um, neckline, but it's getting there. And I did also, so I had this laying out recently and Joe saw it um, and he was going to move it somewhere for some reason. I don't remember the whole thing, but I don't need to worry about him thinking that this is for him yet because he actually said that he was going to move the dress that I was working on. So I'm pretty pleased with how my charade is going. So anyway, um, I actually have to get going. I've got a meeting that I need to get to, but uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this little knitting update. And if you did, certainly give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to see more videos. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.